Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Delighted to be joined by the one and only Mr. Ty Mitchell. How are you, mate? I'm good, I'm good. Before we start, I need to let you know this is a big moment for me, you know? Why? Because, obviously I've been watching IFL for years and I've always said to myself, when I get an interview from Coogan, I've made it. I remember when we was in... Oh, um, shut up, Ty. <laughs> I, remember, <laughs> I, I remember when we was in um, Germany at Tyson's farm. We was doing all the interviews, but obviously you didn't really know me that well then. They didn't know me. And I was, so I was thinking, oh, I'd love to get interviewed by IFL one day. Obviously, I've had a couple with my boy Uma, but when I was first watching it, Uma wasn't working with IFL then. So I was thinking, my day will come. So I'm just sat there patiently waiting, and today's the day. Oh. So I got an interview with the big man himself. Think, like, listen, I thought Umar was like that far behind you or in front of you. I didn't know whether I was allowed to interview. But <laughs> Umar's my G. He Umar's my come G. and supported your fight the other yeah. day. So yeah, fair play. But yeah. um, all right, well, apologies that hasn't happened until now. But, Kept me um, in the suspense. It's all right. I, will, I couldn't have left Morecambe without interviewing you. So <laughs> um, yeah, bit of a one of a better word, funny situation that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, and I know a lot of people watching this will know what your situation is, but if we could have like a little recap of kind of what yeah. it is for you. Basically, um, years and years ago, I got in trouble for fighting. I ended up doing some um, some jail time for it. Um, I think I was 19 at the time, 19 or 20. Uh, I'm not going to go into the actual details of it because it's quite, it's, it's, there's loads of ins and outs and it's not straightforward. But yeah, so basically I ended up spending some jail time for it. I come out when I was 24. I'm 29 now. I'm 30 next month um, or the month after. Um, so it was a long time ago, but yeah. Um, so what they're saying is obviously you come out. Obviously I've changed my life around since. I've never been in trouble since, never broke the law since. Um, and I'm just trying to get my boxing license back, but they've been giving me the runaround saying we're gonna give it here, we're not gonna give it here. Um and stuff like that really. So it's to the point where now, because of my age in boxing, I'm I'm like this is like my prime years, I'm like twenty nine to probably like thirty three. I like my prime years, or probably like twenty seven to thirty three, you're like your prime years. So we've kind of had enough of waiting. I'm off license next year anyway, but we've kind of had enough of waiting, so like my lawyers have took the um, took the gone down the court route, so hopefully it should all sort itself out um, before the end of the year. It's all due to sort itself out before the end of the year, and hopefully I can get back um, get back to doing what I was doing, and hopefully show people that look, you can have a past, and even though people have regrets, and there's a lot of stuff people wish they could they could change or they would change if they could, is that just because you've had that past doesn't mean you have to keep that for your future. So I want to be a beacon to say, oh, look. You can change your life. You don't have to stay in and be in trouble and out, whether it's with drugs, whether it's with burgling, whether it's with fighting, whatever it is, you can change your life around and say, look, all right, then I've learnt my mistakes. I've grown up as a person and I don't want to keep going in and out of jail. Do you know what I mean? People need chances to change their life around. And obviously boxing's the only thing I know, so boxing's kind of saved my life anyway. But hopefully that's the path I'm trying to go down, keep people off the streets, keep people out of trouble and try and just be a good, positive role model, especially in times like this, the knife crime and these kids in the end, stabbing each other up every five minutes and I've never been involved in nothing like that. I don't get this gang culture and knives and that, but obviously I've done things myself that I'm ashamed of and I'd like to take back. So if I can keep some kids that was that I can see a bit of myself in them, try and keep them on the right way, which I do. I spend a lot of time with kids. Um, I just don't post it nowhere, so no one really knows, but I spend a lot of time with kids around the gyms and Derby and trying to keep kids off the street and stuff like that and just try and give them a better, to show them there's more choices. Do you know what I mean? Some people just accept their surroundings that they was brought up in or behaviours that they knew. So hopefully that's my plan. Get back in the ring and um, yeah, change my life around. So you've been out of prison for roughly five or six years. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you've been kind of in this limbo land, if you like, for that amount of time, kind of not knowing, you know, whether you can kind of resurrect your boxing career. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's difficult, you know, because obviously it's hard to train because you can't really dedicate yourself to training because you don't know when you're going to fight. Obviously, I've been doing unlicensed fighting, but it's not the same. It's hard to train properly for it. And obviously, it's it, it being around the people that I'm around, it's a blessing and a curse. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm around, 
a lot of the top level fighters in Britain and I see what they've gone on to achieve and I'm happy for them. I just wish I had the chance to do it myself, do you know what I mean? Um, so it's, it's hard, it's, it's a blessing and a curse, but hopefully God's time is perfect. So hopefully I, when my time's right, I'll, hopefully I'm not too old and I can uh, still, get, still get a job done. Someone who you're obviously very close to is Mr. Tyson Fury, whose home we sit in currently at the moment anyway. But mm. how influential or how kind of positive has he been over that period while you've been in this situation? Yeah, he's helped me out a lot, you know. He's had me um, to a few of his camps. I've been to Holland, I've been to Germany, um, I've been to France with him. So he's, he, where, where, as and where he can help me and kind of keep my, keep me, give me something to work towards training and taking me out and, do you know what I mean, to his camps with him. He's helped me a lot. And he's another example, even though mine exceeded his by some years, he, there was a time where the, he said some things in the press that he didn't really mean when he was going through his uh, mental health issues and stuff. And look, he's changed his life around now, and is 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 a prime example of don't don't like let people dictate the person you're going to be. Do you know what I mean? So it's good to see look where he's come from. Even just a couple of years ago, people couldn't stand him. He was getting booed. Now he's absolutely loved. Do you know what I mean? Because people love people that don't that if if they've had if they've had like a past or whatever, they can turn it around. So it's good to be around him and learn from how he's done it. And um, it's just good to be around. If I need to speak to him, if I need him for anything, he'll always help me. Do you know what I mean? He's a good friend. Um, I've been in each other years. And yeah, it's good to be around, man, for sure. What, what do you think is the most kind of single best bit of advice or something he said to you that's stuck with you over the years? He just says, look, no matter what you do, you're not going to have people that like you. Do you know what I mean? You're gonna have, you can be the nicest person in the world but there's going to be people that don't like it. There's going to be people that don't agree that you should have a license, which is understandable. Um, but you said you'll have a lot more people that do have you back. You just can't take it tight. As long as you know you're a good person and you have a good heart and your family know, they don't really listen to what everyone around you says because their opinion isn't going to pay your bills, is it? So that's what he said. Just keep focusing on you. You know if you're a good person. And keep a clean heart and just don't let exterior opinions get to you which is a good thing because you do you go online and you see people message you and i get so much nice messages and confidence saying now oh, we, we we support you and we want to see you make a comeback but you do get the other divs that put you down and try and make you bit try and make you live in the past and stuff which is hard but you could you're gonna get it the way i see it is look if jesus had hate people that hated him what what i'm always gonna have people that hate me do you know if jesus got people that didn't like him i've got no chance ever so that's the way i look at it yeah, that is one way of looking at it. I suppose I've never heard anyone kind of make that reference before, but I suppose I, I understand the yeah. point that you make. Um, but your dad as well, very supportive of, yeah. of you and must Maybe. be difficult for him yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. My dad's, my dad's my biggest my, in my corner no matter what. We clash we clash a lot of the time because we're quite similar and obviously we're father and son, but yeah, he's had my band through, he's had my back through thick and thin. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's obviously gonna um, get 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 him down as well because obviously he sees that I'm in the gym. I've been in the gym for years, and he obviously sees that I've got potential. But I'm not even now. No one really sees my potential because I'm not training a hundred percent. It's kind of sad to see him see what I could potentially become, kind of going to waste to a certain degree. Um, but he's my daddy's supportive, and 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 he's always gonna have my back as he would as a dad. But. We can only try, he's, he's going to help me whatever I can do, do you know what I mean? So yeah, we'll get there in the end, I'm sure. We've got a lot of time for your dad. He's all right. I really is, yeah. Absolutely. He's a character for sure, that's definitely, if, if there's one word to describe him, it's a character. Yeah, he's like Marmite, you love him or hate him. Most people love him once you know him. But yeah, he's a legend. Yeah, I think from, yeah, from, from like the, the friend side of it, it's all right. Yeah, I think yeah. Your dad's not the sort of person that, yeah, I've seen your dad die in situation, so we say, and uh, he's someone that you want on your side yeah, of the fence. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, uh, here in Morecambe, uh, first time I've been to Morecambe, I think it's a funny old place. I don't know, Very yeah, different, I've not, isn't it? Well, it's been here like two days, but it's uh, it's been rather eventful from yesterday's uh, March for the TLM. Oh, yeah, I forgot and, about um, that. Yeah, it's, it's been interesting, it's been interesting, it's been uh, insightful to be here as well. So I, I kind of see why Tyson puts himself here with his yeah. family, because... He pretty much does get left alone. Like, obviously, you get the odd person that comes up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but it's not like the full throttle yeah, being in a, a Manchester or a London. You know. So. Well, I think here because it's such a small town, everyone knows everyone, so they see him every day. So it's like 
okay, some people that probably don't see him much will probably come, but it's like, oh, it's Tyson, isn't it? Mm. And he doesn't really get bothered, so everyone knows him and he can just kind of live his life, um, which is what you'd want. And if you're raising kids, he takes his kids to local school, picks them up, drops them off, do you know what I mean? He doesn't get bothered, so I wouldn't blame him. Um, and I like it up here. I think it's, it's, I like it. I think it's a nice place to live. Everyone's friendly to each other, everyone gets on, so yeah. I like it up here. I've been up here quite a few times, to be fair. It's, it's, it's a good old place. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add, Ty? Um, no, I'm probably fighting. I'm next going to be fighting on Tough, um, Tough Promotion, Tough Smarts, which I actually um, am a partner in. Um, and we're just basically, we had the first one a couple of weeks ago that I boxed in a prize fight that won. Um, this time it's just going to be another rematch. Um, but yeah, I'm training for that. I think it's going to be the end of um, November. That's what we're looking for. So hopefully you'll catch me on there. And then hopefully the big news, I should get my license back by the end of the year. And then it's all systems go. Mm. But there's a lot of people, the pressure is, because obviously I've got a lot of mates that are quite known in boxing, they all hype me up. So I'm thinking, these lot might be hyping me up a bit better than I actually am. So if these lot keep hyping me up and I go on there and pull a stinker, everyone's going to be like, who's this guy come out? So I've got to, hopefully... I can live up. I can live up to the um, anticipation. I hope. I'm sure you will, Ty. I'm I sure hope so. You will. Um, okay, Ty Mitchell. Thank you very much for talking to IFL Thank TV, you very much for having me. And uh, we'll grab a word of you before your next fight in in November, and keep us up to date with the situation regarding yeah, the ball because we'll be we sure. are interested. Um, I remember you having this conversation with me years ago, yeah, like, well, probably yeah. about five or six years ago. You probably hadn't been out of prison for that long. I remember yeah. you having this conversation with me. Yeah. I can't remember where we were, but I do vaguely like, remember. I think it was Germany. I think it was at Tyson in Dusseldorf in, in Germany. Dusseldorf. Yeah, when we because we went that for three five years ago now. Yeah, see, I so think that's it probably was. Yeah, yeah, that's when it was. Yeah, because mm. I actually remember speaking to you about it. We went for food somewhere. And that's where it was. Yeah. Dusseldorf. Did we go to like a kebab shop? Yeah, yeah, around yeah. a kebab <laughs> shop. Yeah, me, you, <laughs> a big, shame. big, me, yeah. Shame. yeah that's yeah, how it was. Yeah, yeah, there. I do remember going to a kebab shop because I don't remember a lot of things I ate there, but I remember going to a yeah, kebab shop. Yeah, that's what I remember. Dusseldorf. Yeah. Um, Okay, Ty, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, thank it's been you, thank the you last me. couple of days spending time with you, and uh, we'll catch up soon. All right, mate, cheers, mate. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt.